dates. The legend says dates from Joseph of Arimathea. So let's get everyone in and then we'll talk about it. So if you all come in on the grass here, we'll just talk a bit about the abbey and then you can go have a look around. Yeah. Oh, huh? oh. Then you can all go and have a look about. Okay. Can I take yeah. your picture, please? Can you take my picture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a star. Yeah. There is star okay, for all fine, season. <laughs> okay, guys, let's all gather round. Yeah. And we'll just talk a bit about why we're here, okay? And then we'll give you some time to look around. And maybe if we've got good weather, we'll see about lunch. Um, are we all in? Yeah, How many have yeah. I got? Have I got everyone? Yeah. 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 Right. I'm going to shout, so if you can't hear me, you'll have to come and ask me afterwards. Yeah. All right? Yeah. All right, so why have we come to Glastonbury? Anyone have an idea of, does anyone know what Glastonbury is all about? Well, I only know about the concert. That's okay. Yeah, the concert. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> it's not the concert. Yeah. All right, so Glastonbury Abbey. Um, is one of those places which started off um, which has been enhanced by a whole series of stories but the very basic story that you need to remember is that this is the place where Joseph of Arimathea was supposed to have come to found Christianity in Britain <laughs> So depending on what story you believe, and whether you believe the stories about the Holy Grail, stories about the Holy Grail really didn't exist until about the turn of the millennium, about, about 10, 1100, you started to get stories about the Holy Grail. Yeah. Before that, it didn't really exist as a story. And the original story was that Joseph of Arimathea um, uh, was one of 12 apostles mm -hmm. who came to Britain carrying the Holy Grail. Now at some point around there you have the start of Arthurian legend and an Arthurian legend when it first appeared didn't really figure the Holy Grail. It was all about, it was, it was a mishmash of stories from the Welsh Gospels, the Mabiniog which talks a lot about Percival and Arthur, but doesn't really start talking about Holy Grails, and other stories. And it wasn't really until a bloke called Cretien de Troy started to enhance the Arthurian legend that the Grail starts to appear. And by about 1100, you've got a fellow called Robert de Bore who writes the first explicitly Grail story in English. The film. The film. Yeah, and which would follow all the films you now see about the Holy Grail. And the story that he tells is that Joseph of Arimathea comes to Britain with the Holy Grail. Um, in some stories, it's enhanced so that the Gra so that Joseph also brings two cruets, one with the sweat of Christ and one with the blood of Christ that he rescues and which he buries underneath the Torah, which we saw coming up. And that's where Arthur goes with the knights to look for the Holy Grail, at this secret chamber under the Thor. The story then gets kind of enhanced from there on in. And at one point, there becomes, there's a version that not only does Joseph of Arimathea come to Britain, but he's accompanied by Jesus, which is where, and we all know the we all know the hymn Jerusalem, yeah. Okay, so the words of Jerusalem that say, "Did he walk on England's pleasant green, pleasant land?" Yeah, it's a reference to that story that Joseph of Arimathea comes here with Jesus because medieval genealogy 
starts to trace a line between Jesus and Joseph of Arimathea, and that Joseph of Arimathea is Jesus's uncle. Oh. So then medieval genealogy supposes, well fine, if they're related, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a big stretch of imagination if Joseph brings Jesus to Britain um, uh, and together they establish Christianity, which was great for the monks of Glastonbury because not only do you get Joseph of Arimathea uh, um, uh, benefiting your monastery, you get Jesus as well. It's possible that that whole thing arose because uh, the Angevins were known to come over a mine tin in this part of the area. And in fact, there's an old story of, of tin miners that when they strike tin, they call out um, uh, Jesus. What do they call out? Let's just check. There is uh, a story that they call out, and there's a particular phrase, they call out Joseph was in the tin train, which is probably um, a corruption of St. Joseph to the tinner's aid. That was probably the original statement, but it became corrupted to Joseph's in the tin train whenever they struck tin. But it's possible that those stories arose from the Angevin's, Angevin kings from southern France coming over to mine tin around this area and obviously there are lots of stories about connections between the Angevin kings in the south of France and Jesus and if you read some stories there are there are, are rumors that Jesus in fact didn't die on the cross and he came over to southern France and lived with the Angevin kings became one of them and spawned a bloodline from there so there are all kinds of weird stories around the, uh, around this area. The story then gets corrupted again so that by about the 16th century Joseph has arrived in Britain with the Grail. He comes to Wetherall Hill which is Weary All Hook which is over there. Yep. He strikes his staff in the ground and from where his, his, his staff strikes the ground you get a, new, a thorn bush spring up. Yep. Uh, there was a thorn bush until recently on the hill which bizarrely got cut down by a developer in some weird way but if you want to go to the church there's an Anglican church just across the way where there is still a Glastonbury thorn. It's a particular type of thorn it's the only thorn that flowers twice a year once in the spring and once in the winter and you can tell a thorn tree it's a tiny little stubby tree like this with <coughs> offshoots off it. You can do, you, you'll see it. You, can, it, you can't mistake it for any other tree. So the story is that Joseph, by the end of the 16th century, the story is that Joseph has come over with the growl. He's come to Weary or Hill over there. He struck his staff on the ground. The Glastonbury thorn has grown up. Uh, the growl is already hidden under the, uh, under the tor and you start falling into Arthurian legend about King Arthur and the Knight. Now Arthur <coughs> is a completely different kettle of fish. Arthur starts to, Arthurian legends date from the early Welsh legends. Christian de, de Troy, a French author, starts to uh, write what are called the Arthurian romances, which is when you start to get Guinevere and Lancelot and all the other knights uh, uh, introduced into the story. And then the monks of uh, the monks of Glastonbury decide that they are going to uh, mount an expedition to find Arthur's grave. And the king allows them. There's a bit of toing and froing. It takes quite a long time, actually, for the monks to find what they want. But eventually, they find the grave of King Arthur and Guinevere, which, by miraculous, miraculous uh, means, happens to be in Glastonbury Abbey. So not only do you have pilgrims coming in to see the grave of Joseph of Arimathea, which apparently was also here but has now been lost. 
because Joseph of Arimathea's original original <coughs> wattle church is roughly where the ladies' chapel now stands in the monastery. Um, but you also have the grave of King Arthur, the once and only king. Um, and the story <laughs> attached to Arthur, as a, we've all read the story of King Arthur, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So we all know the story about King Arthur, his fight with Mordred, being taken off to the Isle of Avalon. Um, so, uh, and the rumour is that Arthur dies, but will rise again to, to, to help the Kingdom of England when it's in its direst need. That's the kind of mythology around Arthur, the, the, the once and always king, which is what was written apparently on the tombstone when it was found, the story of Arthur and Guinevere. Is that the one stone still around? Yep, and if you walk into up to the up to the church, you'll see it marked Arthur's Arthur's grave, the site of Arthur's grave. What about Jesus uh, Anfield? Did he die here? So uh, the the story with with Joseph of Arimathea is there is according to the monks that he died here, was buried here. The grave is not known, but he built his original church under the ladies' chapel. He built his church where the ladies' chapel is, and when the ladies' chapel was later built, when the monastery was expanded and built on top of it and replaced the Wattle and Gould church, it was placed, the Wattle and Gould church was actually placed underground. So the ladies' chapel stands on top of the site of the original Wattle and Gould church. Yeah? Um, so the monastery gets income from tourists coming to see the grave of Arthur and tourists coming to uh, see the church founded <coughs> by Joseph of Arimathea. And it's all fine and dandy, they get lots of money. By the time of the Norman Conquest, Glastonbury Abbey was probably, if not the richest, one of the richest monasteries in England. And then the Normans and they install a, um, they install a, uh, uh, a new regime, which is not well liked by the monks of uh, Glastonbury Abbey at all. And, um, and they, 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 they put in a man called Abbot Thurston, who tries to put iron, an iron rule on Glastonbury Abbey. The monks revolt. And Abbot Thurston, quite naturally, decides that he's going to bring in troops and he's going to take the Abbey by force. So there is a pitched battle in the Abbey where the Abbot comes in and effectively starts killing the monks, who all run off in terror and hide. And the account of the time. Um, from the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle says that the monks managed to bar the door Hello. <laughs> the monks managed to bar the door <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's all right. and then even then Thurston is not, is not put off so he chases the monks all over the monastery shooting them down with arrows and according to the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, two died and 14 were wounded. And the Normans really instill order here by force until the Reformation, and things carry on as normal until the Reformation, when the Abbey is dissolved, the usual story, the lead is sold off the roof, the bricks are sold off the building material, and the Abbey falls into disrepair. Um, and that, in a nutshell, is the story of Glastonbury Abbey. Mm. The things you ought to go and look at, just to take a walk around the site, and we can talk a bit more about this on the coast as we go, but go into the main lane and look down, and you can see the line of the original abbey. Um, you'll find Arthur's grave, it's clearly marked, 
Um, and let's go, let's just do that first and then we can come back and turn more. So you want to head over here to the abbey, to the main building. Continue. Oh, ito na, ito na yung sinasabi nung tour guide namin na ruins ng old church ni, ni ng Abi so ayan siya ha bababa tayo sa kuan para makita nyo ruins, Tsaka may mga laki nitong bato hindi ko alam pero <laughs> doon tayo pupunta hindi ka Irish Tignan natin ulit ha. Ganda dito. O, oh, yan o. Oh. Oh. Ayan na. Pakita na tayo. Walang dekada na to, mami, no? Ayan mo, mga walls na yan, o. Oh. Ruins. Oo. Oh, oh. O, oh, ito. Tignan mo, o. Oh. Ganda, o. Oh. Oh. Diba? Ang ganda. So we can see this is the nine of the nine. You can see the nine of the church. You can see how big a church this was. Because that is the that's the transept. That's the transept. Yeah. Ang laki pala ng church, no? You can see how big how big does the church? It's a massive thing. Massive built. Huh? Massive it's build. enormous building. Yeah. That's the, the west wall. And that's the center. That's the east wall. So the east wall is up there. And the north and south transept were over here. So it's an impressively large church. Large church. And this is the ladies' chapel. So the ladies' chapel will be up that end. Ah, the this is the No, 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 It's the big one, yeah? Lucky, no? That's the west. Uh, the east. It's on west. This is the west area. West. Tapos this po, oh yeah. Tapos this, uh, I'm doing video. That's the one there. So, so, the grave of Arthur is up there, where that little signpost is. We talked about the original church. So, the ladies' chapel is over there. And underneath the ladies' chapel is the crypt. So the ladies' chapel was built on top of the original church that was established by St. Joseph. So there you have the ladies' chapel. Supposedly. Can we go to the crypt? Go to that bridge there. And you'll see, and there's a little door that leads down into the crypt. Oh, I see. So. Um, yeah. So, have a look over there, and you'll see the, the decorations of the Lotus Chapel, and you'll see the crypt underneath. Okay? And over there is, 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 is Arthur's. Oh, okay, sino ang ano? Who wants to uh, come with me to get the food in the coach? I want to see the one. Is there a lot of people? No. Which one? The grave? Yeah, yeah. The grave. No, no, no. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll go there. Sure, no. Good. Let's see the ano mo na yung sa script. Just to see the script area. So you will see the grid area. I'll just so I will check the grip. So 
will see the grip yeah Natin. How beautiful is this place? Grip. Bini video mo na ha? Opo. It's really beautiful. Oh, this is the original church. Yeah, that's the original church. Oh. Yeah, no? the church. Nasa ilalim ang alo niya, bali. Ayan, oh. Nasa ilalim. It's really beautiful. Ba? Grip form underneath the chapel century. The Lady Chapel. The Lady Chapel. Grabe, no? Dito yung ulo. Old. Old. The Lady Chapel. Galilee Creek. Huh? Ganda? We will see that place there. Okay. Beautiful. It's really beautiful. No, akit ka dyan. Tapos, akit po. We we'll just go upstairs. So we will see the trip. Ganda. Pababa. Pababa po tayo. Alam po. Dito rin tayo papayat. Oo, umang. Oo. Dito rin tayo akit, mami. Hello, yung mga tao dito sa Somerset. Walang nag-mamask tayo lang. Nakamask eh. Oo nga. Kasi nga sila basta may tao. Ito parang tanging simbahan din eh. Oo. St. Joseph. St. Joseph Well and Creek. Ito St. Joseph Well. The well is here. The well is here. Ayan pala yung well. St. Joseph Well daw. Ito ang grill. Ito na yung church. Ito na nagwamas. This one here. Hello. Yeah, that's how beautiful it is. Ayan siya. Ayan. Ruins. That's the one here. Palabas tayo. That's how 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 yan ganyan na lang video na lang this right here nakita lahat no kakain po kukunin pagkain mami kasi po lahat sila may pagkain mami So, kukunin na namin pagkain. Lunch. Exit dito! I hope you enjoy my vlogging. So, I'll see you again later. Mamamasyal tayo ulit. Mamamasyal pa tayo ulit. See you later!